new research reveals the looming global threat of supervolcanoes. Explore supervolcanoes, their risks, and the science behind them. Focus on the geology, studies, and global implications of Yellowstone. Volcanoes, with their violent eruptions and molten rivers, have captivated humans for millennia. But some volcanoes lurk in silence, waiting for the right moment, with the potential to erupt so catastrophically that they could change the world. These geological giants are known as supervolcanoes, and research into them offers both fascinating insights and dire warnings. Supervolcanoes are not ordinary mountains spewing lava. They are volcanic systems capable of producing eruptions that eject more than 1,000 cubic kilometers of material, enough to bury entire cities under ash several meters thick. Unlike cone-shaped volcanoes, supervolcanoes often appear as vast calderas, large depressions that form when a volcano's magma chamber collapses after an eruption. Their eruptions are categorized as VEI-8, Volcanic Explosivity Index, the highest rating on the scale. By comparison, the eruption of Mount Vesuvius that buried Pompeii was only a VEI-5. Supervolcanoes aren't just locally destructive, they can trigger climate change, disrupt agriculture, and cause a range of global impacts. Supervolcanoes exist on every continent, though some are better known than others. Here are some of the most famous. Supervolcanoes form over hot spots or subduction zones, where tectonic plates collide. These areas allow magma to pool in the Earth's interior. Over tens of thousands to millions of years, pressure builds as the magma interacts with surrounding rock, becoming more viscous and gas-rich. Yellowstone is a focal point for supervolcano research. The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory YVO, run by the U.S. Geological Survey USGS continuously monitors the area. Researchers use a combination of seismographs, satellite imagery, and GPS sensors to track ground deformation, which can indicate magma movement. In a recent study led by Dr. Michael Poland, the scientist in charge of YVO, researchers analyzed 20 years of data on Yellowstone's uplift. The results, published in JGR Solid Earth, suggest periodic cycles of inflation and deflation, likely caused by the migration of magma and hydrothermal fluids. One of the most widely discussed approaches involves reducing the heat in a supervolcano's magma chamber. This concept is particularly relevant to Yellowstone where researchers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory have proposed a plan to use water to cool the magma and lower the risk of an eruption. The proposal involves drilling into the supervolcano's crust and injecting water, which would circulate, absorb heat, and return to the surface as steam. This geothermal system could slowly cool the magma chamber over tens of thousands of years, potentially delaying or even preventing an eruption.